what's going on guys thanks for tuning back into another decent anime youtube video i'm so happy it's saturday and this saturday is going to be extra special so yes if you can't already tell kind of from the title but also from last week's video we officially installed the hsp intercooler piping the whole works for the uh for the lb7 duramax pretty much um i'm so excited to show you guys what's coming up we're gonna go ahead and do this kind of chronological so you're gonna see like install from how we started from pretty much disassembly to assembly so i'm not gonna waste any more time um, i'm so excited to show you guys no i'm not gonna open the hood just quite yet you guys have to stay and watch the rest of the video i guess if you're really anxious you can just go ahead and and uh, slide the red uh the red uh, ball forward and and check it out but uh i really want you guys to stay tuned because this is going to be really cool so let's go ahead and start it off we're going to go ahead and take off the sinister diesel cold air intake now i'm going to do it i'm probably going to do a uh, i know it's kind of weird for me to do it but we're going to do a video probably in the middle of the week about the sinister diesel cold air intake i have i have i'm having some issues with that sorry if the wind's kind of bad it's kind of windy today but the sinister diesel cold air intake i will not be giving away anymore i'm sorry uh we're, we will do something but it won't be that actually i'll, I'll i'm not going to dive into it just know that that we had some complications with that intake cold air intake system and we will we will do something about it but anyways we're going to go ahead and remove the cold air intake um i do have a video of of what the old intake looks like before sinister so i might go ahead and throw that up here right now So that's what that looks like. So I'm not really, you've all seen the Sinister Diesel. If you follow this channel, you've seen the Sinister Diesel color intake. And if you haven't, check out my other videos. But we're gonna go ahead and remove all that stuff. Uh, you'll have to remove the air resonator box and all that. But in our specific scenario, we remove the Sinister Diesel color intake. You'll just need a, you know, a screwdriver and just take off the hose clamps. It's super easy, guys. Uh, I'm not really gonna dive into that. But here's what, here's what it looked like from our end of things. I know sometimes I let my pride get the best of me Thinking we got telepathy Working on it every day But I don't know what's next for me Wish I could have everything But nothing in this life is free Gotta dig my heels in And think about what's best for me I know you have your doubts And trust me I got them too I know it's getting hard But me I believe in Alright so now that the colder intake is removed We're gonna go ahead and take off the cold side intercooler piping uh, for the for the hose clamps for the for the HSP and for stock hose clamps you're going to need a 7 16 deep socket to get those off so what that's going to kind of look like is um, you're going to have two uh, hose clamps on top and you're going to have one on the bottom on the on the side right on the intercooler side right over there you're going to have uh, so a total of three hose clamps you're going to take off for cold side piping and pretty much that's about it that's going to be a really easy side to get out and i do recommend taking out your fenders on either side uh these guys right here i do recommend taking out these guy this guy right here yeah sorry the truck is it's wet because i kind of i just went and sprayed it off get all like the uh like the sand and stuff off it because of uh we're in northern michigan here but uh so yeah it is kind of wet back to it so you i recommend taking that off you will get the cold air I'm sorry the cold side intercooler piping off by taking off those hose clamps so this is what that's kind of kind of going to look like So after that's taken off, if I'm not mistaken, because uh, this this was this was a uh, this week sometime that I did all this, but um, we're going to be doing next the hot side intercooler pipe, which is also super easy, guys. This assembly on all the piping is super easy. So hot side is going to be the same thing, seven sixteenth deep socket. Um, again, sorry about the wind. I I, I know it's probably going to be bad in the video, but hot side intercooler pipe again, seven sixteenth deep socket super easy here's what that's going to look like
All right, so after you have the hot side intercooler piping taken out, next is the turbo intake horn. Now, that is difficult. We had to kind of use, I recommend going and getting one of those flexible uh, extensions. I think it, they, they're kind of like on a spring. You can get like three inch or quarter inch. If you can get a quarter, that'd be great just because you're gonna be able to fit a lot be better. But three eighths is what we use. And you're able to get uh, either that or if you use a, a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench. That also works on some of the angles. Guys, the, the horn is the hardest thing to take off and, and probably put on as well just because the LB7s have the actual bolt holes. So you'll see what I'm talking about. I'll go ahead and throw some of the pictures of the intake right up there. That's kind of what that looks like as far as the horn. So we went ahead and took it off. I don't think I have a, I don't think I have a clip of that, of taking it, taking it out. I think we just took it out. But um, uh, we went ahead and swapped it, put the new horn in. The new horn actually comes with five 32nd Allen bolts. Um, Allen bolts, yeah. So that's, it, it's nice because the HSP side has the little cutout on the horn to actually slide the, to actually slide the uh, horn onto the bolt so you can actually run the bottom Allen bolt uh, to the bottom of the turbo housing. So that's really helpful. They really nailed it on that because they made that part a lot easier. So like I, again, like I said, guys, you're really gonna need an extension. Uh, a flexible extension is, is best, but you're gonna definitely need, gonna need some reach to actually take off those bolts uh, to get to the, turbo, to the intake, to the horn. So other than that though, the horn, um, I mean, once you get the horn off, and the new horn on. I mean, you're you're on the downhill you're on the downhill side of things. You 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 guys are on the easiest part of it. So let's see here. Next, what we are going to be doing is putting on the uh, the cold side intercooler pipe, the HSP intercooler pipe. So again, super easy. HSP put in the kit, the boots and clamps for the cold side. So what you actually will be doing though, you won't actually use another boot for the intercooler pipe on the uh, down right around here in this end you will actually just be using the stock uh, boot just for the just for the cold side in a cooler pipe not uh, not up here now you you'll see whenever I pop the hood and show you guys the reveal so you will actually be putting on the just one boot for the cold side in a cooler pipe and you'll see if you go on HSP's website on the kit it comes with one boot and the two hose clamps for the cold side so uh, this is what that kind of looks like All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and uh, button up the hot side intercooler piping from HSP Diesel. This one does come with two boots and all the hose clamps, obviously, for the install. That's It's also a super simple process. The, here's the thing with the hot side. The hot side is advertised 04.5 through 2010. The hot side does fit. However, right now, I'm just trying to work out the kinks because we're having, a, we're having very little space to play with between the hydro boost on the hot side, on the hot side intercooler pipe. So I'm, I'm gonna have to try to figure something out because you know, whenever we do like the startup or the shutdowns, we are actually hitting the hot side, or we are actually hitting the hydro boost with the hot side in the clear pipe. So you guys probably will be able to see how, cool, how much room we have. Um, so that's just something we're gonna be working out. However, I, I, I am, I, did, I mean, it's on and it does technically fit. So that's just something we have to kind of play around with. I would kind of like to see an LLY with the hot side pipe on just to see how different the fit is. So, but that's obviously not something we're gonna get to be able to see ourselves. Before we move on, this is kind of what the install of that part looks like. So check that out. The last but not least is our cold air intake. Now, I did not film putting in the cold air intake just because the, just because the GoPro, it was getting dark and the GoPro was you know, just not having it that day. So, but however, it is a super simple process to walk you through it. Um, I'll, I'll walk you through the, the, the cold air intake side of things, uh, but I think I've kept you guys waiting enough. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got under the hood, and then we'll talk about the cold air intake and before we finish off this video. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. This is going to be a uh, this is going to be a pretty sweet uh, pretty sweet reveal. So check it out.
All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that reveal. I know that I enjoyed putting it on just as much as you guys enjoyed watching it. So the performance is unreal. Like I didn't expect to get so much gain from the uh, these parts, but well, boy, did we! I more expected like a like aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing type, you know, review. Again, sorry about the wind. Golly, I wish it would. Uh, anyways, so I did not expect that at all. I will try to get some like, I, I mean, sound clips aren't really going to be much different, at least for the GoPro, at least maybe a better camera, but wow, the, I mean it just sounds so much more crisp, it sounds better, it runs so much better, you're just getting so much more airflow to the motor and that is so crucial, I highly recommend this setup, HSP nailed it, I hope that maybe, maybe the uh, the hot side nuclear pipe, I don't know if you can see it in the, in the reveal, but the hot side nuclear pipe is, is like, so, and I know you might not even see a space, but there's like that uh, in between there. But anyways, it really is a good kit. It's really a good setup. I am so excited about it. And I mean, I would do it I would do it again in a heartbeat. So let's go ahead and before we close out this video, I'll just go ahead and show you kind of how the intake is, is uh, put on. All right, guys, sorry about the shade. Uh, hopefully I can try to get out of the way so you can actually see something. But obviously here's the uh, horn, the turbo horn that I was talking about. You're gonna want to go ahead and try to get some space and make sure, obviously, whatever you take apart, put back together. For example, I took apart, you know, a lot of the hoses I took out uh, just to make my life a little bit easier. But, um, but yeah, so this is, so when you get the intake kit, obviously this from here forward is what's gonna come with. It's not gonna come with the horn. You have to buy that separate. Um, however, so anyways, uh, You'll obviously want to remove the mass airflow sensor out of your either stock or other aftermarket air intake. The HSP setup comes with Allen uh, bolts already to run into your mass airflow sensor. Uh, one of my buddies helped me install it, actually put this on, so I don't 100% know the size of Allens that this takes, but uh, if you guys really are curious, you can you can message me and, and I can and I can go outside and, and uh, look for you and message you back. But again, seven. 7 16 all the way around the board on the hose clamps. Um, you really, you're just gonna put the piping on. I highly recommend on the on the box side. Obviously, this is gonna be the, the top plate's gonna be off. I highly recommend putting the box in first, right? Which will be three 10 millimeter bolts, I believe, on the bottom. You'll take that out and then put the actual box on, bolt the box back down, and then put your your pipe on after you put the box in. And the reason why I say that is because this box actually has a hole on the side. You can see it right there. And you'll actually run the cold air intake into the hole in the, in the box. So definitely, absolutely 11 times out of 10, uh, do that instead of, instead of trying to finagle the box with the pipe already on it. So, and then obviously you'll finish off by putting, putting on the, uh, the, t the top cover, the decorative color cover, even though it is as, as pretty as it looks, you know, as gorgeous as it looks, it actually does serve a good purpose. It keeps, you know, the heat from radiating onto your filter and, and tries to keep as cool air as possible uh, going into your filter. Uh, by the way, this is a, I believe, a four inch uh, s and uh, air filter. I obviously have only ran it for a couple days and I, I mean, it's so far so good. I really like it. It sounds really good. It kind of has a special like uh, special wine to it. You can, it's, it actually sounds really good. Uh, this LB7 is definitely is definitely running so much better than than ever expected. I, I know that a lot of times you get a bad rap for you know just for so many different problems because you know because of the first generation Duramax. Having that said, I'm not going to keep you guys on here. I don't want this video to be longer than it needs to. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the install. I, I am going to be having some parts rolling in. I think we're going to kind of uh, shift gears into performance, into aesthetics a little bit. I don't know if you can see in the video, but I, I need a little bit of uh, scratches and a little bit of body work, you know, just a little bit that needs to kind of go into this truck to make it, you know, you know, just a, a beautiful show, you know, not necessarily a show because it's an LB7, but you know, just a beautiful truck. So having that said, guys, I'm not going to keep you on here. We will figure out something to give away as far as uh, on the channel. However, it won't be the sinister diesel intake. I will put a video up on that, probably a short, you know, four or five minute video on that just to show you guys what happened. Um, my stock turbo kind of took a little bit of a little bit of a beating with that with that setup. So I, I I'm in, as much as I hate to like disaccompany, like seriously, uh, it's so frustrating. Again, I'm not gonna go into it in this video. So just just stay tuned this week. If you want to find out why my stock turbo isn't hundred percent like it should be, stay tuned because probably Tuesday or Wednesday maybe I'm gonna upload a video and just showing you guys 
kind of what happened there. So overall, thank you so much HSP Diesel. We owe you so much. Uh, I, I'm so, you know, I'm so happy to be running your traction bars, the uh, intercooler piping. Check out their website. I'm gonna be emailing them some pictures of this stuff, and they, you know, I think that this truck might end up on their website. So uh, we'll see how we'll see how that goes. So, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in so much. Stay tuned to next week's video. You're not gonna want to miss what's coming to this truck. So, having that said, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys next Saturday on the Diesel Anatomy YouTube channel. Peace out, guys.